This video demonstrates how to determine the pencil hardness of an organic coating using wood or mechanical pencils in accordance with ASTM test method D3363, standard test method for film hardness by pencil test. Most coil coatings chemically change during the curing process. This change is commonly referred to as cross-linking, and coil coatings such as epoxies, polyesters, and urethanes change from a liquid coating to a hard, flexible film as they cure and cross-link. One method to determine the degree to which the coating is cured is to check the pencil hardness. An insufficient level of cure is characterized by a low pencil hardness value, while an overbake condition is characterized by a high pencil hardness value. Both conditions may affect the fabrication, transit abrasion resistance, and long-term durability of the coating. ASTM D3363 covers a procedure for a rapid, inexpensive determination of the film hardness of an organic coating using readily available drawing leads of known hardness. The test offers insight into the coating's resistance to gouging, as well as an indication of the adhesion of the coating to a substrate since there is, simultaneously, a downward and lateral force applied to the coating by the pencil. Typical parameters required to perform this test are the angle of the pencil relative to the coating surface, the force applied by the operator, and the length of travel of the pencil. Wood pencils and mechanical pencils are used. They're available from several suppliers in a range of hardness values, as shown here. For wood pencils, Remove enough wood to reveal approximately 1 8 to 1 quarter inch of pencil lead. For mechanical pencils, adjust the lead to reveal the same amount of lead. In both cases, it is important to flatten the tip of the lead by holding the lead at a 90 degree angle to a fine grit material, such as sandpaper, wet dry paper, or emery paper. Place the panel on a flat surface and select a pencil. The selection could be a lead with a value that is harder than expected or softer. Experience says it makes a little difference. Hold the pencil at a 45 degree angle to the panel. Simultaneously apply a downward and forward force in an effort to nick the surface of the coating. It is recommended to push the pencil forward with an arm motion rather than using just your hand or fingers. This will help to maintain a 45 degree angle. If the coating is nicked, select the next softer pencil lead and repeat the test. Likewise, if the coating is not nicked, Select the next harder pencil lead and repeat the test. Repeat this process until a pencil has been selected which gives the alternative result. Note, most specifications have a pencil hardness requirement association with a gouging action of the lead into the paint film. Some specifications ask for a scratching action. The main difference is the length of the stroke of the pencil. A gouge is produced with a very short stroke, perhaps one to two millimeters in length whereas a scratch requires a much longer stroke, perhaps as much as one inch long. The pencil hardness value is most often associated with a gouge rather than a scratch. Be sure that a 45 degree angle is used. Other angles will produce inaccurate results. It's recommended to clean the panel with a cloth to better observe which pencil lead has nicked the surface. The pencil hardness of the paint film is defined as the hardest pencil lead that does not nick the film. For example, if an H pencil does not nick the film, but a 2H pencil does, then the hardness is H hardness. According to ASTM D3363, the reproducibility between operators is one pencil value. In other words, if one person checks the pencil hardness and gets an HB hardness, and another individual gets an F hardness, these values should be considered to be the same and within experimental error.